Right, Shannon Andrew, the Westmoreland County Regional Youth Detention Center is now back open after several months of having several staffing challenges arise. But county officials tell me that they're not out of the woods just yet. They're open, but they still have a lot of challenges to overcome going forward. $800 a day is difficult. That's the rough cost Westmoreland County Controller Jeffrey Balzer says is put on taxpayers daily to send juveniles who have been charged with serious crimes out of Westmoreland County to await trial in another facility. The Westmoreland County Regional Youth Detention Center officially reopened after being closed for the majority of the past nine months, up to $800 daily per juvenile. That over the course of the month, that's a that's a nice chunk of money. It's all taxpayer dollars. He says that's one reason for reopening. Another to keep kids closer to home and in a facility with staff trained to work with youth. They do want to treat um, the residents that we serve more with kid gloves, uh, more gentler, kinder. Uh, kinder. Um, at the same token, you know, we have to keep in mind these are kids that have broken the law. They're being charged with homicides. They're being involved in some serious crimes. So you have to have the ability to keep them safe while at the same time respecting who they are as an individual. The center's director, Rich Gordon, considers this reopening a soft launch. First, welcoming up to four kids, then working to accept more as staffing levels allow for it. Ideally, they want to have one juvenile service worker for every four kids. County Commissioner Ted Kopis says staffing is a priority. Um, we've taken a number of proactive steps over the past few months to increase the salary and to bring on a recruiting firm to help us in that regard, um, which has bared some fruit um, with the fact that we're able to staff the facility to reopen it. Um, that effort has to continue. The facility is also preparing to start a project to replace all of the locking mechanisms in the doors throughout the facility. And they tell me that by the time that project is complete, by the end of this year, they're hoping to have the facility back open to all 16 kids that they have capacity for. Reporting live in Hetfield Township, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News.